All right, my dears, we're here at All Star, and we're staying in country, and I've always wanted to do this. Couldn't do it when we were staying in Cal Calypso. Okay. But, I'm a little bit country. <laughs> You're a little bit. Rock and roll. There we go, I wanted to do that. Hello friends and welcome to another Up For Adventure Resort Tour. We are here at All Star Music and we like this little value resort. So come along with us, let's take a look. So I showed you what a uh, room looks like here as a deluxe room here at uh, Country Fair, one of the sections. Let me insert some video we did of one of the family suites over in Calypso building, and let me put that in right now.
And this is where we're at, All Star Music, the fitting on Melody Lane. There we go. So this is a little nice shot, uh, really information kind of shot here. So there's actually several sections that music uh, All Stars uh, divided up into. Calypso, jazz, Broadway, and country, and then rock. So those are the sections. Uh, we're staying in a studio, not sure where yet, but I also, also wanted to point out here in the front of the resort, this is where you get on the buses to go to the parks right there. And again, as you can imagine, as a value resort, it's gonna be a little busy. You can see all the people right there. All right, there. so let's head into the resort here. Uh, as I said before, the buses are over there, but let's head into the front. Also, by the way, they have airport uh, pickup. So that's that yellow bus right there. That's where they're parked at. So different buses come by and take you to the airport. You're going to see as we walk in here, check-in is going to be off to the right. Concierge is going to be off to the left. All right. And there we go. Check-in services off to the right there. Concierge off to the left. Notice right off front, you got your hero. You can play some guitar. Hero. And what's also cool, it's a lot smaller, cozier lobby. Get sure to get your picture right in front of the 2016 Mickey Ears headset. And right in back, you got Ma Maestro Mickey's. That's uh, the uh, gift shop. And in fact, why don't we insert our video right now? Came in from right there in the front, all the way back here is Maestro Mickey's. If you go out that door right there, that's right to the Disney buses. So let's go take a look at what they have. Maestro Mickey. Always your 50th or now 100th. We're long past 50. We're in Disneyland now. Time frame, 100 years. It's a little cute shop. Nice wall of all the plushes. Fair assortment of all your princesses, toys, and wands, and lightsabers and all kinds of stuff. Aerial lover, there you go. Pretty. You get some? We got Rex and Buzz and the aliens and Woody and the toy soldiers. Uh, they're just about all accounted for here. Don't see Jesse, but. Disney Illy forever. So these are inspired princesses. Or inspired from their individual princesses. I know you want one. So this is inspired from Snow White. Red. Yeah. And here's a list of them, or at least all of that have, I think most of them have here at uh, All Star Music, that is. And quite a bit of clothing options. Really cool shirt here we're trying to get Keegan into for our next Disney sailing. Not sure where this is gonna come out before or after to that sailing, but. All right, what kind of un interesting uh, pins do we have here? Huh, man? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we, got? we still got uh, night, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, right? So, got a little of uh, Coco, Miguel. What else we got here? Soul. Oh, I've never seen that one in a while, huh? Never seen this one. I don't know. You guys watch, look at these more than I do, but. And some more pins over here. A fair assortment of cups here. We really saw here the other day. So on the back side, well, you see there, that this is all one cup. Chip on one side and Dale on the other side. How cool is that? Same thing here. I'm assuming Mickey, but that I don't know. That may be all a Mickey mini well, Mickey's cup. Well, Mickey's got Daisy on the other side. Who's on oh. the other side of Mickey? Donald, of course. Aww. Come on. That's cute. That's a really cute concept. And you're on mute. That's what I've got to learn to do sometimes. You're on mute. And you got your sundries here. Got some various alcoholic items as well as refrigerated items. Now I've got a complaint, Bob. You can you can get on with the Tron to bring it out, but where the heck is the cherry sour balls? Hmm. 
once again gone. Come on, Bob. You can do it. And got some breakfast items. Entmans, if you like, are into that. Chips. And a decent assortment of, of drinks back here. We need your monster. They've got that. And then on the back wall, a lot of the iconic rock stars. Bruce Springsteen, Johnny Cash, of all different John Michael Jackson there, with the Beatles above, Taylor Swift. Come back towards the guitar pool outside, intermissions, the food court is off to the left, and the game room, notable games. This is for your arcade lovers, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. right there. All right, so let's go take a look at those games. It's loud in here, so we'll probably just put this to some music. Let me just show you a little bit about what they have. We tend to not show a lot in the food court stuff because pretty much all the same. So they do have coffees and danishes, different type of assortments of platters, entrees, whatnot. This is for breakfast right now. So obviously they serve lunch and dinner. And I think it's still pretty late, 11 p.m. I believe. So there's what intermissions the food court looks like. So as we're going to start a tour here on the outside, Calypso is off to the left here. Here's a good map of the entire property. The pool that we swam in before, and hopefully it's going to be good weather this weekend, we're going to be able to take advantage. This little guitar pool, actually it's called the Calypso Pool, the Kitty Pool. One of the warmest pools we've ever been in here in uh, Disney. Very nice. So then it goes back here, so Calypso is off here, and then it heads out to the Jazz. Broadway is back here, then I believe this is country, and then rock is off to the right here. So I'll show you a little bit about what the theming is like here, these different sections. There's the, uh, we'll just say the Calypso pool, I guess is what it's called. Hopefully we'll be able to take some advantage of that as it's supposed to be warm. You see the three amigos right there in the middle. And Calypso is off to the left here. And there's what it looks like going in the front of the building there. And you can see as you move on down here past Calypso, well, you can kind of identify what the next section is. That's a jazz. And here's the jazz section. See the two buildings here. And you can see out in the front of the jazz end, you've got your drum set. Pretty cool theming. Should add that these uh, rooms are very much like Pop Century. So they've all been refurbished except for the sports, All-Star Sports has not been yet. Our understanding, some of them have. Some are, and here's the little fountain that they have here in their little courtyard, nice city area at the Jazz Inn. All-Star Jazz Band. All right, so we're moving back to the uh, back portion of the resort. Coming up here on the country and off to the left will be Broadway. And so here's the second pool here at this resort. You see a little bit of the uh, activities here as well as I'm gonna show. First of all, the resorts have the movies under the star. What's playing tonight? Brave. Keegan will like that one. So this would be kind of country rock. Maybe jazz shares this one, although jazz is pretty close to the Eclipse. Uh, eclipse. The Clipso pool, I'll get it right, Clipso pool. But we've never been in this one, but uh, maybe we'll have a chance. Like I said, it's supposed to be very nice out here. All right, so this is the jazz section. Now if we move off to the left, 
Now Broadway has some really cool stuff. Stayed there one time actually when I was on a solo trip, but uh, the Broadway has some cool little uh, outside entrance theming. So let me show you that as we move around here towards that section. You see the stage door. So what's cool walking down here of uh, Broadway is you get the feel like you're walking down actually what New York, right? So, but you can already kind of see. So they're kind of their theming out front is some of the different Disney on Broadway shows. Got Mary Poppins right there. I'll show you Frozen's in front of it. Lion King's off to the side there. Aladdin. Frozen is there again. And there's Mary Poppins and Frozen. Let me show you what's on the other side here. Across the street is Aladdin, the Lion King, and one of our favorites, certainly one of Brielle's favorites, all times, Newsies. And off here is Beauty and the Beast. Now what's cool about these little uh, areas here, at night they light up like, I don't know, Goofy or somebody is giving out tickets or something. It's kind of cool. So that's the Broadway section. Let me walk back here to the property. I just want to mention something. So I just wanted to show this area back here just for a little bit of orientation. So when you first come into the All Star Music Resort, you've got a main parking area there where you can check in, where you swear I showed you where the buses were. But you do follow it around. There's parking. You don't have to carry your luggage all the way through the main, uh, you know, uh, check-in area. They're parking off to the side, and that's what I'm, I'm trying to show here is that actually all these All Stars, you could kind of walk to them. Uh, sports is back up uh, past uh, Rock, uh, Rock Inn, um, uh, Rock theming, and uh, just down here is uh, movie. So there's parking, that adequate parking that you can go to. You don't have to lug your luggage all the way through the Calypso pool and all that kind of stuff. So just be aware of that. There's parking back here. All right, so let's head back to the very back part, which is country. All right, and this is a good little view of the theming here in the country section. You got a snake in the boot right there. You got your fiddle. You got your banjo. Just need a little Charlie Daniels. So this is country. Again, this is the very back portion. And what's kind of cool here is here's a little sitting area, a little picnic area here in the middle. So of course country. This is their theming right there. So that's kind of cool. Um, so you can have a little snack from the shop right there. And the two back portions here. All right, so let's head over to Rock. Piano pool. That's what I can remember. So the Calypso pool is, I call it guitar pool. This is the piano pool. So maybe, maybe call it car, guitar pool. I fool myself sometimes. All right, so here we're headed back to the Rock section. So you can see here in the Rock section, we got our amplifiers, amps on, and we got electric guitars and a jukebox. Now, one thing that's kind of sad here, maybe it will light up tonight or something, but when we were here last, it didn't light up. And that's a little contrary, uh, contra contrary to the uh, pictures that you see, which shows this all lit up. But anyway, the jukebox was not lit up last time we were here. But anyway, still pretty fun section. So this would be the next closest to Clipso section, next to your, uh, Fast food, your carry out stuff, quick service, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And you can see right there. There's your jukebox. And I'm sure do not attempt to try to get in or drive this Chevy off the lot because, well, I didn't have an engine on it, so. All right, adventurers, that'll do it from Country Fair here at Disney's All-Star Resort. Have a lot of fun doing these things, bringing you all the uh, different things that uh, each resort has to. This is, the All-Star Resorts are actually a value resort. I don't know if I've ever said that, but definitely get a, a lot for uh, what you pay for. Would just do a caution here though, because they are some of the value resorts and a lot of people stay here. Sometimes the transportation over to the parks are a little bit challenging. We lucked out this weekend. It was pretty doggone good. Didn't have to wait a whole lot, but just, you know, keep that in mind. But anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, because it does help our channel. And until our next, well, whatever, onward to our next adventure.